you'd think most politicians would be so well media trained they'd rarely slip up. Yet, while some are better at speaking than others, practically all of them say weirdly inappropriate things at one point or another. Here are some of the most embarrassing videos that nearly ruined famous politicians. At one point, Jeb Bush was the frontrunner in the 2016 Republican presidential primaries. As the brother and son to two former presidents, a heavy amount of PAC money was floated his way. And conservatives had high hopes, yet his image seemed to dwindle pretty quickly. And a notoriously awkward moment on the campaign trail didn't exactly help. During a speech in New Hampshire, Bush delivered what he clearly expected to be a slam-dunk applause line. Get back in the business of creating a more peaceful world. Please clap. <laughs> of course, he was promptly roasted by news media everywhere. MSNBC even called it heartbreaking. However, a spokesperson for Bush's campaign instead framed it as a charming moment, telling BuzzFeed News, It was clear Governor Bush was cracking a joke with the audience, who laughed and enjoyed the humor. Unfortunately, his public image continued to go south, and he dropped out of the race a couple of weeks later. Former Texas Governor Rick Perry was probably one of the most entertaining candidates in the 2012 presidential election, largely because of his unbelievable gaffe in 2011. While on air during a presidential debate, Perry seemed ready to roll out his plan for the three agencies he would eliminate as president. It's three agencies of government when I get there that are gone. Commerce, education, and the, um, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see. <laughs> The moderator sees the moment, asking if he truly couldn't name the third one. Uh, <laughs> commerce. I, I, commerce. And let's see. Oh I can't. The third one, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. According to ABC News, he later told reporters, I'm sure glad I had my boots on because I sure stepped in it out there. Despite being made fun of in the media and a practically obligatory Saturday Night Live sketch, Perry continued to entertain millions by going on Dancing with the Stars in 2016. President Trump also made him the head of the Department of Energy, which just so happened to be the one he couldn't remember back in 2011. According to Vanity Fair, Perry later admitted he never knew what the Department of Energy actually did until he became secretary. When libertarian Gary Johnson ran for president in 2016, he was asked on MSNBC what he would do about Aleppo. And what is Aleppo? You're kidding. No. As Johnson's team presumably swung into full damage control mode behind the scenes, Mike Barnacle quickly explained that Aleppo was the region at the center of Syria's civil war. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay. Well, with regard to Syria, um, I do think that it's a mess. According to Politico, Johnson later said in a formal statement, Yes, I understand the dynamics of the Syrian conflict. I talk about them every day, but hit with the what about Aleppo, I immediately was thinking about an acronym. Not the Syrian conflict. I blinked. It happens. Obviously, Johnson didn't win his bid for president that year. Instead, he ran for Senate later in 2018 as a Democrat and lost. Still, he's asked about his Aleppo moment and his run for the presidency from time to time. He told Esquire in 2018, I would have really enjoyed being president. I think I would have done a really good job. In 2008, Katie Couric's interview with vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin became a thing of legend. Couric asked Palin about a comment she made where she cited Russia's proximity to Alaska as being evidence of her foreign policy experience. Sadly, Palin didn't seem very prepared. Putin rears his head and, and uh, comes into the airspace of the United States of America. Where, where do they go? It, it's Alaska. While Russia is 55 miles from Alaska at the narrowest point, reporters criticized Palin's shaky performance. Our next door neighbors are foreign countries. They're in the state that I am the executive of. Chuck Todd of NBC News reported at the time that the McCain campaign was criticized for not giving her better media training. Could have her already sort of comfortable in these settings where she, where she wouldn't be stumbling around for an answer about Russia right now. SNL made fun of it relentlessly, casting Tina Fey to play Palin in a classic series of sketches. You've got Alaska here, and this right here is water, and then that's up there's Russia. <laughs> so we keep an eye on them. Years later, Couric maintained that while she intended to ask fair and important questions, she didn't set out to embarrass Palin. She told MSNBC that she felt bad for Palin because it was clear she was struggling. Christine O'Donnell, a Catholic Tea Party candidate running for the Senate in 2010, stunned everyone by beating the favorite in the primary. Yet, she had some explaining to do when comedian Bill Maher released a video of her appearing on his show back in the 1990s. I dabbled into witchcraft. I hung around people who, who were doing these things. During the appearance, she claimed one of her first dates was on a satanic altar with blood around her. Altar? A movie and then like had a little midnight picture. A movie and a sacrifice. The media confronted O'Donnell with the videos years later, forcing her to respond. 
How many of you didn't hang out with questionable folks in high school? There's been no witchcraft since. To further defend her non-witchy character, Odama released a slightly odd TV ad. I'm not a witch. I'm nothing you've heard. I'm you. When that didn't seem to help, she claimed on Good Morning America that she never liked the ad anyway. Later, O'Donnell started to speak out against Donald Trump, and according to The Hill, she said she had, quote, no desire to get back into the fray herself. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.